Hi everybody, today we're going to do things a little bit differently and take Olaf on a walk. Um, it will be a very realistic view of how Olaf is when we walk him. He actually sees a squirrel right now. Um, so this is, uh, this is not edited, so you get a really realistic view of how Olaf is outside. Um, just as a note, we do use um, balanced training methods with him. So primarily we use a prong collar for walking him to make sure that he doesn't pull too much. We also use a e-collar um, to buzz him if he's getting too rowdy. We try not to use it too often and we're trying to phase him out of it. But yeah, come on us with a walk and we'll show you how Olaf is really like on a walk. All right, so Olaf is kind of amped up over that squirrel we just saw. So we're just gonna have him chill for a little bit before we actually start walking. Lots of whines, stay. Quiet. Head down. Shh. So he's slowly calming down. Shh. Okay. okay. All right, let's go. Heel. So good, Olaf. Watch me, Olaf. So when Olaf is pulling forward, I'll try to pull, pull back. Um, the thing you want to do is not keep too much tension here. That's one thing I'm trying to work on as well um, to make sure it's loose and not maintain this constant tension. But it's hard because sometimes I don't want to yank too hard, but that's one thing that I'm working on. So the reason why we're doing this route right now is because we'll see some dogs along the way. Um, they're usually behind fences and they're kind of rowdy. So we'll see how Olaf will be near them. He is kind of reactive right now or just kind of vocal. So hopefully he'll be okay, but we'll see how it goes. So we're about to approach two houses that have dogs behind a fence. So we'll see how Olaf is around them. No doggy here yet. Maybe coming up. Leave it. No. Leave. Good. Good, quiet. Good boy. Okay. All right, so we're going to have Olaf run around the park and sniff for a little bit. As you can tell, he's just very angsty. Usually we let him run around for a bit before we actually take him out for a walk. Um, so we're just going to have him be a dog for a little bit and then maybe he'll be more focused with walking. Someone really needed the exercise. This is what happens when you forget to bring a ball. Oh my gosh. Hello. My makeshift flirt pole. Set. Good. Much better off leash than on leash, ironically, I guess. I'm not even having to buzz him. He knows his boundaries better. And there are doggies that are coming up. Okay, good boy. Hey, come back here. Come here. Good. Sit. Good. Stay. No, sit, sit, no, sit, leave it, hey, come here, come here, come here, leave it, sit, sit, no, sit, leave it. Okay, so that didn't go as well. So you can see I had to correct him the e-collar there. But he's calming down now at least. So yeah, I guess there's a threshold to how close you have to be to Olaf before he starts coming towards you. But as I said, honest picture of what actually happens with Olaf, so. 
All right, all off. All off, just observing. There's a little kid back there, a bunch of basketball players as well. So he's doing fine with all this. It was just the dogs that came up closer to him. It boil a lot, good. Good puppy. So we're about to enter downtown. There'll be more people, maybe more dogs. So it'll be busier and we'll see how Olaf is with that as well. Good boy, Olaf. Good heel. You know, you're very distracted right now. Good. Good boy. So during our walks, we do give Olaf some breaks to just sniff and be a dog. Uh, we don't mind him just walking around, but if he tries to rush ahead, we'll like not try to like run with him. It'll kind of catch the end of the leash so he knows not to uh, rush forward without us. But this is fine. If he just walks slowly forward, um, we don't mind walking with him, that kind of thing. Just no running, basically. Hey, slow down. Good. So. Yes, good boy. Slow down. Yes. Good boy, Olaf. Slow down. Right here. Good Olaf. Good boy. Yes. Good boy Olaf. Hi. Yes. Good Olaf. Olaf. Yes. Good boy. Good. Good ignore. Leave it. Olaf. Yes. Good boy. Does not do well with waiting to cross streets. Quiet. Hey, watch me. Watch, Olaf. Watch. Watch here. No, here. Yes, no. What are you looking at? <laughs> right here. No. Watch here. Yes, good boy. Okay, good. Kind of get his mind off of just waiting, I guess. Good puppy. Good. Slow down. Good. Good Olaf, good boy. I know. So, all right, found a target to follow. Got a little dog. I, I think he's busy with the pigeon, actually. Okay. Okay. Good Olaf, good boy. So, no. So down. Good heel, Olaf. Good heel. Shh, no. Shh, okay. We're okay. So, so good. Good boy, Olaf. No. Shh. Good boy, Olaf. Good. Yes. Good. Okay, so that's it for our walk. We're headed back to our apartment. I think Olaf is tired now, so let's go, puppy. So that was our walk with Olaf. I hope that gives you a realistic and honest view in terms of what it actually is like to walk as Sammy. Um, and believe it or not, Olaf was a lot worse before. He's actually gotten a lot better. He doesn't pull as much. And obviously there are still things that we're working on. Um, even for myself, I'm working on not holding so much tension on the leash and um, just being more quick to reward when he is doing well. And as always, we always say we're not trainers. So if you are struggling with issues with your Sammy, I would recommend seeing a trainer. Doing one-on-one -on -one sessions has been incredibly valuable for us and we think will be valuable for you as well. Um, so yeah, let us know how your walk experience with your Sammy has been going. Um, are you struggling? Has it gotten better? Are you doing one-on-one -on -one training? I would love to hear it. Um, I also want to mention too, as a reminder, that we do have a new mailing list out. Uh, we're going to be sending an update soon about our upcoming move. You want to hear more details? Uh, subscribe to our mailing list in our comment section, or our description box below. And as always, if you enjoy this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.